hi guys welcome to sunday chit chat today is one of those days that we tend to get a lot of spinning going on just before the show however the spinning has stopped and now i'm here live how are you all doing how is your weekend going so far mine is not um mm, 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 mm. i don't want to come back here today and talk about oh I'm not feeling well, but the honest truth is I'm not feeling well. But once I get the show going, I'm, you know, really, really happy since you're, you guys are here waiting for me. Our topic today is about collagen. I found that recently I spoke about collagen and ever since I've been getting tons of email asking for me to talk more about collagen and, you know, how collagen really helped an individual okay so today we're going to talk about the topic which is um um top three um collagen um booster or top three um ways in which collagen could help all right so we're going to definitely get into collagen a little bit deeper than we did the last time and uh, if you have questions or if you know a little more about collagen that you want to share with us feel free to comment below also if you're watching remember i remember this somebody reminded me last week look below you're gonna see the little thumbs up button if you're liking the topic go ahead and hit that thumbs up button okay now i know a lot of people tend to thumbs the show down even before it starts so however if you're there and you're watching 158 so far go ahead and hit that thumbs up button all right guys so collagen 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 i'm gonna talk a little about the collagen and then i get into the um you know, giving you guys your shout out because I've been getting a lot of complaint that I talk to people too much without addressing the topic. However, this show is where I come on and I socialize with you guys. I enjoy talking to you. I do understand the topic is important, but I feel comfortable just interacting with you a little bit before I, you know, just talk, talk, talk about the topic. So, Collagen, what is collagen? Collagen is a form of a protein that is in the body. As a matter of fact, collagen is one of the most important protein found in the body. Now, we all need an abundance of collagen in the body, whether we need on the inside or on the outside. The inside is helping with, you know, muscles and joints and digestive tract and stuff like that. The outside is basically plumping the skin up. So we're going to talk about a little bit of the inside and a little bit off the outside how collagen could benefit us and i'm also going to share with you a few ways in which you could get more collagen in your diet okay so first off let me go ahead and i just saw inga k and it passed hi inga k how are you we okay here it is look forward to this topic i've been hesitating to try collagen powder because i've heard someone talk about having stomach up after taking it all right guys so one of the 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 one of the points that I was gonna that I am gonna mention today in the gay is the digestive tract. It is known that collagen could help you with digestion. So I don't understand or you know everybody body is different. So for someone to take collagen and have stomach issue after that, then it could also mean that when that if that person do the store bought or they make it for themselves, it could be in also the amount of grease you know, that they intake while doing it, I suggest, which I'm jumping ahead, if you're going to make collagen broth for yourself, make sure to skim it off to get rid of all the grease on the top. You really don't need that. You just need the liquid below. So, but we'll get into that a little more, but play around. And if you don't feel like going out and taking like a supplement, make it for yourself, as I would just suggestion. And then another thing you could do, you could spice it up with some herbs and stuff if you make it yourself, which I'll talk about later on in the show. All right, we have um, Eden, E-D-E-N. Hi, Chichi, I love your program. Please, what ingredient can I use to prepare my body cream? And that also depends on your skin type. You can also try some shea butter or some cocoa butter. As your base okay so 
use that and are some carrots um, butter so we'll talk a little bit more about that you can use some coconut oil as the base depending on your skin type hi Karen that's Karen McDowell we also have um, Fatia Lupai Chichi I hope you have a wonderful Sunday my Sunday is you know well it's it's good right now as soon as i walked in the office i have a vase with flowers and i was trying to balance the computer and something and plush my vase just you know all into pieces then i had to clean up and all of that so you know a lot of things was preventing me from doing the show today but i am here and one with one stalk of flowers is right there but we are doing the show all right christine pasta this cucumber good to use on the face yes 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 and i tend to use a lot of cucumber on my skin cucumber is really refreshing and you can mix some cucumber juice with some lemon or some orange juice and use that on your skin use it to just wash your face and that's like a dose of, of vitamin c okay so cucumber is very good for the skin all right we have Samuel Singh Lettery. Collagen can also straighten bones and joints and beautiful skin. And that is also one of the points that we have today to talk about. If you consume collagen, then it definitely is going to help with bone, joint, and muscle. One thing I really and truly like about collagen, if you take the supplement, that is, or you make it yourself, if you're looking to lose weight, collagen could help you. I'm all over the place because, you know, since I'm reading the comments and people are eating on the points that I was going to share, why not just talk about it anyway? So if you're looking to lose weight, um, and little extra boots of collagen is always good. So you can take your collagen before you work out, or you could take your collagen, you know, after you work out. That is further going to speed up the metabolism and it's going to help with the muscles and the joints. So don't be afraid to try some extra collagen now collagen tend to be in abundant when you are in a at a younger age but as soon as you start to get older the collagen production tend to slow down and with the slowing down of collagen production comes like sagging skin and wrinkles and fine lines and all of that you know guard looking thing going on on the body that is what collagen um slope collagen production do to us so however we have many ways to get that back up by taking the supplement the powder and also by making it at home for yourself now how do you make collagen at home collagen is made from bones believe it or not animal products if you're vegan out here Listen, they do have veg, um, vegetarian um, collagen, but we'll talk about that another time because that's an old different show. But definitely be prepared that collagen, you get the collagen from bones, okay? So bones as animals, so beef bones, um, um, pork bones, what are the other animals we eat? Sheep and lamb and um, all cow, cow is beef, right? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, all of the animals that we eat that have bones, that is where the collagen comes from. Now, they tend to, when they manufactured collagen, they manufactured it in the form of powder and that's how comes you get collagen powder but what most people are not aware of that you could get collagen pretty pretty easy and this is one that might shock a lot of you but the very good old gelatin is collagen okay you could go and read it for yourself look at the process of making gelatin it's all from bones so whenever they have i'm not going to get in the whole process now but anyway if you cannot afford to go out there and get yourself some collagen, reach for your gelatin. It's a form of, co of collagen, okay? So get yourself some, some um, jello, you know, use your gelatin to make some jello. What you're not aware of is that you can also put gelatin in your smoothie. You could put gelatin in your stew. You could put gelatin even in, you know, your whatever meat dish you're cooking up. You could put gelatin in that. And that, to me, is the cheapest and the easiest way to put some co extra collagen in your system so don't you know shy away like oh i can't afford it because you could go and use gelatin and that gelatin when i was growing up i was told that gelatin is actually good for muscles and joints 
jello that is right because we never not talk about the fancy name like gelatin we just say jello and a lot of people tend to reach for the jello growing up on a sunday we normally put the jello in the ice cream but after a while i found that jello is really collagen and having a lot of jello especially they said when you're pregnant you know without natural one without the sugar is also good for the muscles and all of that so get yourself some jello if you cannot you know go and buy gelatin out there now we have the bone broth okay and bone broth is um collagen now if you go to the store to get bone broth you buy that you go home you warm it up and you you know you take that you could have stuff to it make a soup from it or just warm it and drink it like that if not you buy yourself some beef you take off the bone from it like some people don't really can be bothered with bone they cut it out they throw it out when you're preparing your meat now you need to stop doing that if you eat meat when you get it with the bone don't throw the bones out what you do you put the bone in a ziploc or bag and you keep piling up it doesn't matter you could mix beef with pig i mean beef bone with pork bone or goat bone or you know what i'm trying to say to you so put all of that bone in a bag and when it gets to a certain amount take it out um pour water on top of it and probably put a dash of salt and you boil it for about an hour or two let it simmer let it cool and there you have your bone broth now you can choose to just put it in little small containers and freeze it in your freezer and whenever you're ready you take it out you defrost it and you use it however you feel like whether you're gonna sip at it or you're gonna um, make it into a stew or you're just gonna add it to whatever you're trying to cook all right so there you have your bone broth all natural okay now guys one of the most important another important way since we're skincare channel we're gonna talk about collagen boots in um your 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 skin okay collagen boots your 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 um i'm at the last guys i'm so deep into talking about the healthy issues all right so collagen out the boots the the collagen boots the production in what am i saying today guys anyway wrinkles and fine lines when you have wrinkles and fine lines sagging skin what you need is a boots of collagen now how do you get collagen on your skin you get collagen from some of these wonderful collagen boots in creams and serums and facial mask that we have out there okay you can find natural boots in collagen like when i make a facial scrub with papaya and avocado those thing is going to have vitamin c rose hip oil all of that combination is going to help to boot your collagen on the skin it's going to penetrate deep into the skin and therefore getting rid of the wrinkles and the fine lines by plumping up the skin and that is how you boot your collagen production on the outside age skin when you age your skin lose the elasticity because the collagen production slow right down and in order to put it back then you apply the wonderful serum you could get some awesome serum out there to buy um, on my storefront Amazon storefront if you look at that you'll see me list a few really really good collagen boots in serums and creams if you cannot afford those go on my channel page and just search for whatever cream or whatever facial mask that i have on it that i stated it will help to boost the collagen production okay guys let me take some of your questions all right remember if you're watching please hit that thumbs up button okay look below you're gonna see the finger like this just click on it right now if you're enjoying the show loretta grace does it help tighten the skin yes 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 Collagen is what really helps to tighten and firm the skin. If you take it internally, you're going to reap the benefit externally also because once the gut is clean, once the inside is producing enough collagen, then it's definitely going to show on the outside by slowing down, you know, the wrinkles and the fine lines and the sagging neck and all of that. Another wonderful thing about collagen is that it also 
give you a boost of energy okay so if you have like the collagen um peptide that is going to give a boost of energy and that comes in powder and that also comes in pill form i list a few downstairs you could browse around and you know and check on it for yourself don't take my word for whatever i'm saying when the show is over and that is what i like when the show is over whatever you didn't get or you didn't understand just go and google it and read up some more that means when you come back next week and we want to talk more about collagen you guys could help me out all right good all right so um a beer a seller hello my dear i am one of your big fun this is my first time to participate in your life i always watch it afterwards i know a lot of people tend to watch it afterwards that's why we don't keep it for too you know long half an hour so they will be able to watch welcome to live and welcome i hope you're enjoying our collagen topic today okay guys guess what another thing that i know most of you are not aware of i recently found this out also but it do make sense is that collagen may help to reduce cellulite Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But think about it. Since we're talking about wrinkles and fine lines and all of that good stuff, it makes sense because, you know, collagen is the raised vein. I mean, cellulite is the raised veins. And if it could get rid of the wrinkles and the fine lines on the skin and sagging skin, it definitely will help. But what happened with cellulite is that the blood flow tend to slow down and when you massage the area wherever you have cellulite then you boot circulation so because collagen help to 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 with muscle and bone joints and all of that it also will help with circulation in the digestive system and therefore help to reduce cellulite now personally for me i like to make collagen boots in facial serums or cream and also use it on the cellulite i have a bit of a cellulite and i have some wonderful remedy out there where i get a lot of comments and those that they really work for cellulite so i would suggest if you have severe cellulite just you have nothing to lose you load up yourself with some collagen internally and use one of those natural serum on um you know use it to massage the cellulite and see what happens see if it's gonna help to diminish it there are research going on right now about you know using the collagen to get rid of cellulite which is not yet perfect but we are little ahead of the game so why not just try it and see what happened absolutely nothing to lose all right so research it when you're done so we could talk more about it how does collagen help to get rid of cellulites okay guys remember to hit the thumbs up button i am remembering that today if you are enjoying the topic all right guys some more comments um robbie ruddy robbie um, Mara, oh, I missed that. Yeah, be sure to use unflavored. Yes, be sure to use unflavored gelatin. Um, yeah, gelatin and add small organic eggshell. All right, now this is a good one. Listen, guys, be sure to use unflavored gelatin and add small organic eggshells, chicken feet beef pork fish skin etc and cook a big pot then freeze some okay so some of the things that i didn't even remember like chicken feet and um fish eggshell yes eggshell is loaded with collagen believe it or not thank you um ruby that's um, um more man that is actually great and also fish skin and not only when you use the fish skin you get double because you're also going to get a little extra omega-3 fatty acid from the the fish skin so that is a plus right there all right so we have um Princess, I just joined. Welcome. We have um, Nandini for collagen. Jo jo jojoba oil is good. Or rosehip or grapeseed oil. Or we can mix all three together. And that's what we do a lot on this show. We tend to mix all three together. Okay, guys, I hope I covered the three part. We know that we do... Um, collagen for joints we do collagen for wrinkles and fine lines and we also do collagen for um the digestive tract so i covered the three um points that i was gonna make so now we're just talking you know randomly about everything okay guys all right so um miriam mohammed thank you so much um sorry miriam your thing just okay thank you so much for the benefit the uh um i lose that all right sorry guys sometimes the chat went up fast and i cannot see everyone okay so we also have um 
Lita Pim Pom. Hi there. Thank you for all your advice. I would like to know what can I do for the wrinkle in my neck and below my lip they, that are two crevices. I cannot get rid of. Please help. All right. So what I would suggest you do is to do some facial massages. And I have a facial uh, massage um, video where I show how to massage the lips. So use your serum, your rosehip oil, your carrot butter or your carrot oil, because those are good for wrinkles and fine lines. Rub it on your hands and you're going to do a massaging technique whenever you are applying. So just don't pat it on. If you're trying to get rid of, you say crevice, and I know exactly what you're saying. So just you know, massage it, hold it, mm, keep it steady. And then I'll make a video with, you know, mouth, just around the mouth area. I think I'll make one of those really, really quick. I don't have that. Oh, I messed my mouth up because I tend to massage mine a lot, like, like a lot. So if you practice some of those along with using your, your wrinkle fighting and stuff on it, it definitely will help. All right. Uh, Manula, um Cavazos. I drink collagen every day. Organic. I'm from Michigan. Blessing. It's also promo. It's all it's also protein help for joint and strength bone. Yes. And I'm getting that a lot today on the show. Most people do the collagen for for bone health and muscles. Okay. And also for digestion. Now, as I mentioned before, if you're taking the collagen for all of that, it's also going to help you on the outside by, you know, getting rid of the wrinkles and fine lines. Research, 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 research. Remember also too much of anything is never, ever good. So not because you get, you know, all taken up with the you know, collagen, the bone broth and the collagen powder, collagen peptide, you're going to go crazy. Do not go crazy. Do not overdo. Okay. Too much is still not good. So be moderate in whatever you do and nothing is a miracle. It's not going to just drink a glass of bone broth today and tomorrow your skin is going to be amazing. No, everything takes time. Now, along with taking your collagen supplement or making your own collagen broth and stuff like that at home, always remember to flush the system out. Make sure to eat a lot of fiber and stuff, fruits, roughage. When I was growing up, I knew absolutely nothing about fiber. However, I just realized that I used to load up on it because because we tend to use, th whenever we get an, like an orange, normally we don't wait for them to peel the orange for us. We'll take our finger and we'll peg that. I don't know if you guys know what that is. You just use a finger and take the skin off and then you open it and you have all the pegs and you just put that in your mouth, get rid of the seed and you chew everything. All of that roughage that you swallow there is just flushing the guts out, flushing the toxin from your body. So if you want to have healthy looking skin, if you want your muscles, your joints, and you just want to feel amazing along with doing all of these you know, bone broth and collagen booster. You need to flush your system out. You need to eat right. You need to cut down on the sugar and on the carbs. Now, definitely it's very difficult to cut down. I, I'm just coming. Last week, somebody asked about how my 10 days was going. Guys, It I'm, I'm jumping all over, guys. It went well, but I did cheat. I cheated on Super Bowl. Sunday, I'm sorry, but I mean, when I say cheat, some people would be like, eh, that's not really cheating because I did take a couple of tater tots. <laughs> Why is the game without eating some fries, right? So I did take a couple of tater tots and have a little good time, but I didn't overdo it. But for the rest of the time, I was great. I actually had lost, I actually lost 10 pounds, believe it or not. It don't really show to me, but my pants feel much better. So I know, you know, it's there. So what I did, I'm, you know, taking a week break. And then next week, I'm going to go back and the other 10 days again i know i'm not gonna lose all of that the next 10 days you know because the first time mostly you know i drink a lot of water and i flush the system out a lot so i was like going to the bathroom a lot a lot because of the amount of water i was drinking however i was also hungry the very first couple of days for me th first three days i was like yeah i want to move and guess what by the time you get to the 
fourth day, I was grumpy. I want a bubble gum. I like, you know, so it's not, it's really, if, if you're living by yourself, it might not be that difficult. But if you live with people that, you know, eat everything else and you can't partake, it might be. But willpower could get you through it if you're just looking to flush the system out and, you know, start off clean and fresh. All right. So that is just my 10 day no sugar, no carb diet that I'm just talking about, guys, in case you wasn't on. If you're liking this show, please hit the thumbs up button and comment, 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 comment. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, Juliet Williams, can I use aloe vera for a dark spot? Yes. And just use the store bought or the fresh aloe vera, and you could just rub it on that area two to three times per day, if you can, or two times per day. And you do that for a week, and it definitely will slowly fade the dark spots. Or you can use some of the dark spot remedy that I have on the show. And Crane, do you do you have a remedy for dry itchy scalp? My daughter's scalp is inflamed. Yes, I do, and I think I post one. I will look it up and and put the link below, or I will send it to you, or I'll get it to you. If not, I'll whip something up and give you a recipe. All right, okay, all right. Um, BMC, um, you're a beautiful woman. Talk about lead light. Okay, you want me to talk about lead light? Um, we'll do that another time. Okay. All right. All right. Josephine. Um, good morning. I like the green tea and star anise toner. Amazing. Yes, guys. If you have wrinkles and fine lines, collagen production is slowing down and you're trying to boot that up. The star anise is amazing. And that is no joke. That is my go-to, go-to skin tightener okay after you wash your skin and your skin is clean you mix the green tea with the star anise and i have i think about two videos two different composition with this using the star anise and just spread it on your face or use a cotton pad leave it let it air dry and you are definitely within a minute or two gonna feel the tightening on your skin it definitely if you're looking to go to a wedding and you use your facial mask when you're done you spread that on the face leave Leave it you're definitely gonna see great result in a short period of time okay guys so the star honest i would suggest that anyone out there curious or don't believe me go and try that green tea and star anise facial toner it's a tightening toner and it's great for wrinkles and fine line you can also take the star anise and you could put it like in some mix it with some avocado using on your face for a facial mask or in with some papaya even take your star anise whip it up in some yogurt and use it on your face for 30 minutes rinse it off and then you spritz some more and you're good to go it's really 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 good all right we have Delaries. Delaries. i need help with dark spot under my eyes parsley mixed with some cucumbers and some potato juice okay that is really really great and Delaries, when you're done click on my face below the video go on my channel page you're gonna see a playlist with um dark circles or um eye care just look on the there and you're gonna find a few videos on how to get rid of the dark on the eye circles lita pimp pom idea thank you for all your advice i'd like to know what i can do for the wrinkle and my okay i think i read that before um anastasia how can you make cream for or pimpos or maybe pimples what kind of cream you got to be a little bit more drawn guttery how does it work for pregnancy okay guys um and i'm thinking and you're talking about collagen so you definitely need to do your research however when it comes on to having a little bone broth is all natural you're pregnant you're still going to eat and you need a protein in your body so you know i personally would go for the omid um collagen bone broth if i'm pregnant because you know you're pregnant you don't want to go and get something with and you're not sure what's the additional stuff is in there so i definitely would make my own bone broth and load up on my collagen okay i would definitely do that because if you do store but you have to read it has to be organic 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 let's check with your doctor before okay all right as with everything else um carl the top Tigress, collagen is so great for helping your skin. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And as I said before, 
Uh, guys, if you're watching, you like the video, hit the thumbs up. We're trying to get at least 100 thumbs up today live. So if you're watching and you didn't click on the thumbs up, it's right below the video. Just click on it to thumbs the video up. All right. Now we're at 100. Good. Um, so we have um, Sandra. Hello, I'm new. Welcome to Sandra Chit Chat. And we have, um, uh, I know I'm not going to pronounce this one, but um, Niji Bekak. Beck Aku Chinier, princess watching from Italy, and welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. All right, guys, so my time is up, believe it or not. And let's do a little recap of you know, collagen produce, uh, promote skin elasticity. Collagen is good, you know, for cellulite. Collagen could help with the digestive tract. Collagen is great for bones and muscles. Collagen is in the form of you know, bone broth. You could get collagen powder, collagen peptide, and if you do not have that pocket, go and get yourself some gelatin and make sure it's unsweetened gelatin and make sure to make your keep your bones at home to make your own natural bone broth. So those are three, you know, top benefits from collagen. And when it comes down to the skin, we all know that collagen could make your skin look fresher, younger, tighter, and wrinkle-free. Okay, guys? All right, let me do some talk and then I'm going to sign off because I just realized. Let me talk to you guys a little bit more. All right. What is um, star? Oh, is the star anise? Star anise is a form of a spice mostly found in Asian market and is A-N-I-S-E, star A-N-I-S-E. You can look that up when you are done. Rita, it's wonderful, Chichi. Thank you. We have Constant Aburi. I haven't seen you for a while. She said, okay, I guess you're answering that. Lovely Rebecca, how to get rid of face ward. Banana peel, right banana? A peel, just scrape it out, put a little castor oil and that, and use that two times per day, and it definitely will help somehow. But you gotta keep using it, that is one quick remedy. And, um, Francis, I love your turmeric mask, and I actually love that too. And this week, I I'm gonna be doing a turmeric mask for you guys and for me, Patricia Singh. Happy Sunday to you! Um, happy Sunday to you, Patricia. We also have um, Marcia McLean. Okay, I'll get I go, I'll get my collagen. Okay, and we have Brenda. Brenda, Brenda, um, okay, I missed that one. Um, pretty X, hello, um, Larma Brown, you're the best, thank you. Um, we also have Rose, I would like to take collagen for my skin. Which one would you suggest? And that's where you do your research, guys. Do not take my word for it, research, research, research. Whichever one you're gonna do for yourself, research it. I list some down below, read up on whatever I list below before you you know, do your purse test. And as I said before, if you're not sure, get yourself gelatin or make your own collagen brought at home, which is your bone brought. Okay. That is the most natural form. You're going to get the one you can make for yourself. However, if you already, you know, used to it or whatever you want to try, you try some collagen powder or you just try the tablets. Okay. Make sure you read, make sure it's not synthetic, make sure everything is organic and talk with your doctor if you have other health issues, because too much of anything is not good. As I said, and you're on your way to healthier, strong, joint, muscle, gut clean, and everything. As guys, just so you know, collagen is like everywhere you go now. They're all talking about collagen boots. It's everywhere. Just look around you, watch your TV, go on the internet. It's like one of the biggest thing out there. I just today just simplify it for you and tell you exactly why this crave or rage is out there about collagen because everyone is trying to look younger. Everyone want to look fit and toned. Everyone is looking to have clean guts and everyone that normally have sagging skin, now want their skin to look like this. And no, some people don't want to go 
do an operation so people are now turning back to collagen, the boots, the collagen to get rid of the wrinkles and the fine lines and the sagging skin. Okay, guys, my time is up. I did the show. I'm sick, guys. I didn't want to say that in the beginning. I was like scrambling to get the show done. But once I start talking, I feel really good. I like this topic today a lot. It's like one of my favorite things to talk about, even though I was all over the place. But I love you guys. And if you want me to talk more about about collagen just comment below the video thumbs up the video if you have not yet thumbs the video up go and watch last week lineup of videos this week we're coming out with some really good stuff because i'm going to be doing a lot of you know flaming and stuff new stuff and we're going to be doing other things apart from just facial and stuff like that so continue to watch continue to support love you love you love you and join me next sunday 1 30 p.m pacific 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another in our series, Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. Let me know, guys. Comment below and let me know if you like me to talk more about collagen, okay? So that I could go do some more research and come back with more information for you about using collagen. Have a great week. Love yourself. Take care of you because no one else is going to do it for you but you remember if you like the video give it a thumbs up leave your comment and if this was your first time watching look below you're going to see the word subscribe just click on it and click out the bell beside it also so that each time the show is on you will get a notification right away thank you all for watching and i'll see you next week 4 30 p.m 1 30 p.m eastern and pacific and have a great week everyone Bye bye Yes, we want to look younger. And uh, Marcia, uh, Maria, more constant. Love you more. We also have Christine Mason. What about a 59 years old? 59 is pretty young. Yes, yes, you need collagen. Margaret, I exfoliate, but I have pimples on my face. Yes, I have oily complexion. Okay. All right. So you have pimples on your face. You exfoliate. You need to exfoliate with a little bit of a lemon lemon and brown sugar or some baking soda with some orange juice stuff like that that is not greasy that is going to help you and because of you the pimple make sure to drink a lot of water along with cleaning the guts okay all right <laughs>